The four girls, Emily, Lily, Sophia, and Olivia, sat together at a table in the school cafeteria. Their heads bent close together in animated discussion. I think we should have finger sandwiches, scones, and little cakes, said Lily, her eyes sparkling with excitement. And we'll need to find the perfect china and linens, added Sophia, already picturing the elegant table setting in her mind. We'll have to send out invitations to everyone, chimed in Emily, pulling out a notebook to start jotting down ideas. Olivia nodded enthusiastically. This is going to be the most amazing tea party ever. We'll need to start planning right away. The girls began dividing up tasks, with Lily taking charge of the menu, Sophia handling the decor, Emily in charge of the guest list and invitations, and Olivia overseeing the overall coordination. This is going to be so much fun, Lily exclaimed, clapping her hands together. I can't wait to see it all come together, said Sophia, already picturing the elegant affair. Emily smiled, her pen flying across the page as she made notes. This is going to be the talk of the school. Olivia grinned, feeling a thrill of anticipation. All right, let's do this, girls. The four friends huddled together, their voices animated as they divided up the responsibilities for their upcoming tea party. Okay, Lily. You're in charge of the menu and food preparation, said Olivia, taking charge. Make sure we have all the classic tea party treats, finger sandwiches, scones, petit fours, the works. Lily nodded eagerly. Oh, you got it. I'll start researching recipes right away. Sophia, you're on decker duty, Olivia continued. We need to make sure the venue looks absolutely stunning. Fine china. Crisp linens, fresh flowers, the whole nine yards. Sophia's eyes gleamed with excitement. Oh, I can't wait to start planning the table settings and centerpieces. This is going to be so elegant. And Emily, you're handling the guest list and invitations, Olivia said. Make sure we invite everyone who's anyone at school. What? Emily grinned, already jotting down names in her notebook. You got it. This is going to be the event of the season. It's wonderful, Olivia said, clapping her hands together. I'll oversee the whole operation and make sure everything runs smoothly. The girls high-fived, their faces alight with anticipation. This is going to be amazing, Lily breathed, already dreaming of the delectable treats she would prepare. I can't wait to see it all come together, Sophia said her mind whirling with ideas for the decor. As the bell rang, signaling the end of the school day, the girls gathered their belongings, their steps light with excitement. It's all right, let's do this, Emily exclaimed, leading the way out of the school. The four friends chatted animatedly, already making plans for their upcoming tea party extravaganza. And the four girls spilled out of the school, their laughter and chatter filling the air. I can't wait to get started on the menu, Lily exclaimed, practically bouncing with excitement. Sophia linked arms with her friend. Now I'm already picturing the perfect table setting. This is going to be so much fun. Emily consulted her notebook, her brow furrowed in concentration. Okay, I've got the guest list started, but I need to finalize the invitations. Olivia grinned her eyes sparkling. Don't worry, Em, we've got this. We're going to make this the best tea party ever. The girls paused at the school gates, reluctant to part ways. All right, let's all go home and start working on our tasks, Lily said, already itching to get started. Yes, the sooner we get everything planned, the better, Sophia agreed, her mind whirling with ideas. I'll call you all tonight to check in, Emily promised tucking her notebook into her bag. Olivia nodded, a determined expression on her face. Let's do this, girls. This tea party is going to be legendary. With one last round of excited goodbyes, the four friends went their separate ways, each bursting with enthusiasm to begin their preparations. The four friends gathered around Emily's kitchen table, their notebooks and laptops open as they brainstormed ideas for the upcoming tea party. Okay, so I've got the guest list all set. 
Emily said, tapping her pen against her chin. I think we should aim for around fifty people. Lily nodded, her eyes scanning a recipe book. And I've been researching the perfect menu. I'm thinking finger sandwiches, scones, pity fours, and maybe some mini quiches. Ooh, that sounds divine. Sophia gushed, already picturing the elegant spread, and I've been sketching out some table setting ideas. I'm thinking white tablecloths, vintage china, and fresh flowers. But Olivia jotted down a few notes, her brow furrowed in concentration. Okay, so we've got the guest list, the food, and the decor. What else do we need to consider? Just then, the doorbell rang. And Emily hurried to answer it. She returned a moment later, followed by two more girls, Chloe and Isabel. Hey, guys! Chloe greeted them, her eyes sparkling with excitement. We heard you were planning a tea party, and we want in. Isabel nodded eagerly. Yeah, this sounds like so much fun. Can we help? The four friends exchanged glances, then broke into wide smiles. The more, the merrier! Lily exclaimed, gesturing for the newcomers to join them at the table. Chloe and Isabel pulled up chairs and joined the group, their eyes bright with excitement. So, what have you guys been working on so far? Chloe asked, leaning forward eagerly. Lily launched into an enthusiastic explanation of the menu she had been planning, while Sophia chimed in with her ideas for the table decor. Oh, that all sounds amazing," Isabel exclaimed. "But what about the entertainment? We should have some sort of program or activities for the guests." Emily frowned, tapping her pen against her notebook. "I hadn't really thought about that. What did you have in mind? Well, we could do a little fashion show with some of the guests modeling vintage dresses," Chloe suggested. "Or maybe a tea leaf reading station." Olivia's brow furrowed. I don't know. That seems a little gimmicky. I was thinking we could have a string quartet or a harpist to provide some live music. Lily nodded in agreement. Oh, and we could have a little tea tasting station where people can sample different blends. Sophia's eyes lit up, and we should definitely have a photo booth set up for people to take pictures. The girls began talking over each other, their voices rising as they argued about the best way to make the tea party a success. Okay, okay, let's take a step back," Emily said, holding up her hands. "We're all getting a little carried away here. Why don't we take a break and regroup?" The others reluctantly fell silent, their brows furrowed in concentration as they tried to find a way to reconcile their different visions. Paragraphs. Lily and Sophia wandered the aisles of the local craft store, their arms laden with rolls of ribbon, lace, and delicate floral accents. Okay, I think this vintage-inspired lace will be perfect for the table runners," Lily said, holding up a bolt of cream-colored fabric. Sophia nodded enthusiastically, and these silk flowers will make gorgeous centerpieces. We can arrange them in antique vases. The two girls continued to browse, their excitement growing with each new discovery. Oh, look at these adorable teacup candles! Lily exclaimed, holding up a set of tiny porcelain cups filled with fragrant wax. Why, those would be so cute scattered around the tables. Sophia agreed, already picturing the cozy, elegant atmosphere. As they made their way to the checkout, a familiar voice called out to them, "Lily." Sophia, fancy meeting you here. The girls turned to see Chloe and Isabel approaching, their arms also laden with craft supplies. Hey, you guys! Lily greeted them, a smile spreading across her face. Looks like we had the same idea. Definitely, Chloe said, her eyes sparkling. We're on a mission to find the perfect decorations for the tea party. Isabel nodded. Her gaze sweeping over the items in Lily and Sophia's hands. Oh, those lace runners are gorgeous! Can we join forces? Lily and Sophia exchanged a glance, then broke into wide grins. Absolutely.
the fear exclaimed. The more, the merrier. The four girls headed to the checkout, their chatter and laughter filling the air as they planned their collaborative decorating efforts. Lily and Sophia were deep in discussion, their arms laden with an array of craft supplies, when a familiar voice called out to them. Lily! Sophia! Fancy meeting you here. The two girls turned to see Chloe and Isabel approaching, their own baskets overflowing with an assortment of decorative items. Chloe, Isabel! Lily exclaimed, a smile spreading across her face. What a coincidence. Not really, Isabel chuckled, her gaze sweeping over the items in Lily and Sophia's hands. Looks like we had the same idea, finding the perfect decorations for the tea party. Sophia nodded, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Absolutely. We've been scouring the store for the most elegant and vintage-inspired pieces. Chloe's brow furrowed slightly. Well, that's great and all. But have you guys considered some more modern and fun elements? I was thinking we could do a photo booth or maybe some interactive activities. Uh, Lily's smile faltered, and she exchanged a quick glance with Sophia. We've definitely discussed those ideas, but we really want to keep the tea party true to its traditional roots. Uh, oh, come on, Isabel chimed in, her tone slightly exasperated. Don't you think that might be a little boring? We need to make this event stand out and be memorable. Sophia's jaw tightened, and she straightened her shoulders. Look, we appreciate your input, but Lily and I have put a lot of thought into the decor and theme. We're committed to creating an elegant, timeless tea party experience. Chloe and Isabel exchanged a look, their expressions a mix of surprise and disappointment. Ah, okay, well, if you change your mind, let us know, Chloe said her voice slightly strained. We won't, Lily replied firmly, her gaze unwavering. This tea party is going to be perfect just the way we envisioned it. With a final nod, Chloe and Isabel turned and headed deeper into the store, leaving Lily and Sophia to continue their shopping, their determination stronger than ever. Lily and Sophia emerged from the craft store, their arms laden with bags of supplies for the upcoming tea party. Ooh, I'm glad we were able to find everything we needed, Lily said, adjusting her grip on the heavy bags. Sophia nodded, her brow furrowed in thought. Yeah, but I can't believe Chloe and Isabel tried to push us to change our plans. I know, Lily sighed, shaking her head. They just don't understand the vision we have for this tea party. Well, they're not going to ruin it for us, Sophia said, her voice firm. We've put so much work into this, and I'm not about to let them steamroll our ideas. Wow, Lily smiled, feeling a surge of pride in her friend's determination. That's right. This is our tea party, and we're going to make it exactly the way we want it. The two girls started walking towards Lily's car, their steps light and their spirits high. You know, I'm actually really excited to start putting all of this together, Sophia said, her eyes sparkling with enthusiasm. Me too, Lily agreed. I can already picture how beautiful and elegant it's going to be. As they reached the car, Lily turned to Sophia, a mischievous grin on her face. Race you to start decorating? Sophia laughed, her competitive spirit ignited. You're on, she exclaimed, already hurrying towards the car. The aroma of freshly baked scones and petite fours filled Olivia's kitchen as Emily, Olivia, and Lily worked together to prepare the menu for the upcoming tea party. Why did it go off sales? Okay, so we've got the finger sandwiches ready to go, Lily said wiping a stray strand of hair from her face. Now, we just need to finish up these last few batches of pastries. Emily nodded, carefully piping a delicate swirl of buttercream onto a miniature cupcake. This is going to be such a hit. I can't wait to see everyone's faces when they see all these treats. Olivia beamed, 
her hands dusted with flour, as she kneaded the dough for the scones. I know it's going to be amazing. I'm so glad we were able to get everything organized. The three girls worked in comfortable silence for a few moments. The only sounds, the gentle hum of the oven, and the occasional clink of a baking tray. Suddenly, the doorbell rang, and Olivia wiped her hands on a towel before going to answer it. Chloe, Isabel, she exclaimed, her face lighting up. What a surprise! Hi, Olivia. Chloe greeted her. Isabel trailing behind. We were in the neighborhood and thought we'd stop by to see how the tea party planning was going. Olivia ushered them inside, a warm smile on her face. Come on in. We're just finishing up some baking. Emily and Lily are in the kitchen. As the two newcomers joined the others, the air in the room seemed to shift, a subtle tension creeping in. Chloe and Isabel stepped into Olivia's kitchen. Their eyes immediately drawn to the array of baked goods lining the countertops. Wow, you guys have been busy! Chloe exclaimed, her gaze sweeping over the delicate pastries and fragrant scones. Yeah, we're really trying to make this tea party perfect, Lily said, wiping a bead of sweat from her brow. Isabel nodded, her expression thoughtful. That's great, but have you guys considered adding some more modern touches? I was thinking we could do a photo booth, or maybe some fun party games. Emily frowned, her hands stilling, as she carefully placed a petite four on a serving tray. We've already discussed that, and we really want to keep the tea party true to its traditional roots. Olivia chimed in, her voice calm but firm. This is the vision we've all agreed on, and we're committed to making it a success. Chloe and Isabel exchanged a glance. Their expressions a mix of disappointment and frustration. And look, we're just trying to help make this event really stand out. Chloe said, her tone slightly defensive. Ah, we appreciate that. Lily replied, her gaze unwavering. But we've put a lot of thought and effort into planning this tea party, and we're not going to compromise our vision. The four girls stared at each other, the tension in the air palpable. Finally, Olivia broke the silence. A small smile tugging at the corners of her mouth. Why don't you two join us? We could use an extra set of hands to get everything ready. Chloe and Isabel blinked in surprise, then slowly returned the smile. Okay, yeah, we'd love to help, Isabel said, her voice softening. As the girls set to work, the atmosphere in the kitchen shifted. The shared purpose and determination overriding any lingering disagreements. The girls bustled around Olivia's kitchen, putting the finishing touches on the trays of baked goods, and carefully packing them up. Okay, I think that's the last of it," Lily said, wiping her hands on her apron. These pastries are going to be the hit of the tea party. Emily nodded, her eyes sparkling with pride. Definitely. We did an amazing job. Chloe and Isabel carried the final tray to the counter. Their faces flushed from the afternoon's work. Ooh, I'm exhausted. Chloe said, letting out a breathless laugh. But it was all worth it. Olivia smiled, her gaze sweeping over her friends. I can't wait to see everyone's reactions when they taste these treats. So the girls began gathering their belongings. Chatting animatedly about the upcoming tea party. So, what's the plan from here? Isabel asked, slinging her bag over her shoulder. Well, Sophia and I have been working on the decor, Lily replied, and Emily's got the guest list and invitations all set. And I'm still finalizing the menu and coordinating everything, Olivia added, her expression determined. Chloe grinned, her earlier reservations seemingly forgotten. Sounds like you guys have it all under control. Let us know if there's anything else we can do to help. The girls headed towards the front door, their steps light and their spirits high. This tea party is going to be amazing, Emily said, a smile spreading across her face. Absolute, Lily agreed, her eyes sparkling with excitement. I can't wait. With one last round of goodbyes, the girls stepped out into the evening air, 
ready to continue their preparations for the event of the season. The air was a buzz with excitement as the girls gathered at Emily's house. The final preparations for the tea party in full swing. Lily carefully arranged the delicate finger sandwiches on a silver tray. Her brow furrowed in concentration. But, okay, I think these are perfect. What do you think, Sophia? Sophia stepped back, her gaze sweeping over the table. They look absolutely divine, and the scones and pettit fours are all ready to go. Olivia bustled around the room, her arms laden with fresh flowers and lace-trimmed napkins. The table settings are looking so elegant. I can't wait to see it all come together. Emily stood back, a proud smile on her face as she surveyed the scene. This is going to be the most amazing tea party ever. I'm so glad we stuck to our vision. The girls worked in a flurry of activity, their laughter and chatter filling the air as they put the final touches on the decorations. Suddenly the doorbell rang, and Emily hurried to answer it. Chloe, Isabel, she exclaimed, her face lighting up. Come on in. We're just finishing up. The two girls stepped inside their eyes wide with awe as they took in the transformed space. Wow, you guys really outdid yourselves, Chloe breathed, her gaze sweeping over the elegant table settings and the delectable-looking treats. It's absolutely stunning, Isabel agreed, her voice tinged with a hint of envy. I can't believe how perfect it all looks. The other girls beamed, their hard work and dedication clearly paying off. We're so glad you could make it, Lily said, gesturing for the newcomers to join them. Now, let's put the finishing touches on this tea party and get ready to welcome our guests. The six friends gathered around the table, their excitement palpable as they put the final touches on their creation. As the girls put the final touches on the tea party, preparations, Chloe and Isabel exchanged a sly glance. Hey, guys. Chloe said, her voice dripping with false sweetness. We were just thinking, maybe we could add a few more modern elements to the decor, you know, to really make it stand out. Lily's eyes narrowed, and she crossed her arms over her chest. We've already discussed this, Chloe. We're sticking to the traditional theme. Isabel pouted, her brow furrowed in an exaggerated display of disappointment. But don't you think it might be a little... Boring. I mean, everyone's going to expect the same old tea party stuff. Sophia stepped forward, her gaze unwavering. Ah. We're not interested in making it stand out at the expense of the elegance and sophistication we've worked so hard to create. Olivia nodded in agreement, her expression firm. This tea party is going to be a celebration of timeless tradition. And that's exactly what our guests are going to get. Chloe and Isabel exchanged another look, their frustration evident. Fine, Chloe huffed, rolling her eyes. But don't come crying to us when no one has any fun. Emily stepped forward, her voice calm but unyielding. We're not going to change our plans, Chloe. This tea party is going to be a success, and we're not going to let you ruin it. The two girls opened their mouths to protest, but the sound of the doorbell cut them off. That must be the first guests, Lily said, a triumphant smile spreading across her face. Time to show everyone what we've created. Ah. As the girls ushered in the arriving guests, the tea party began in earnest. The delicious food, beautiful decorations, and engaging activities captivating everyone in attendance. The tea party was in full swing, and the girls couldn't help but beam with pride as they watched their vision come to life. Guests smelled about, sipping fragrant teas and savoring the delicate finger sandwiches and flaky scones. The elegant table settings, complete with vintage china and fresh floral arrangements, created a warm and inviting atmosphere. Lily and Sophia hovered near the dessert table their eyes sparkling as they watched the guests' delight in the petite fours 
and miniature cakes they had so carefully prepared. Look at them, Sof, Lily whispered, a grin spreading across her face. They're loving every bite. Sophia nodded, her chest swelling with pride. I knew our hard work would pay off. This is exactly the kind of tea party we envisioned. Across the room, Olivia and Emily were engaged in lively conversation with the guests, their faces alight with joy. I can't believe how well this is going, Emily said, her voice filled with wonder. Everyone seems to be having such a wonderful time. Olivia squeezed her friend's arm, her eyes crinkling with a smile. That's because we put our hearts into making this the best tea party ever. We didn't let anyone sway us from our vision. In the corner, Chloe and Isabel stood, their expressions a mix of begrudging admiration and disappointment. I have to admit, they really did an amazing job, Chloe murmured, her gaze sweeping over the elegant scene. Boy, Jamie. Isabel nodded, her lips pursed. Yeah, I guess we were wrong to try and push them to change their plans. I... As the afternoon wore on, the girls found themselves surrounded by a sea of smiling faces, the sound of laughter and conversation filling the air. When the last guest had departed, the six friends gathered in the foyer, their faces flushed with exhilaration. We did it, Lily breathed, her eyes shining with pride. We sure did, Sophia agreed, pulling her friends into a group hug. As they stepped out into the evening air, the girls felt a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction that no one could take away.